my name is Keisuke. Uh, I came from Tokyo, Japan. I'm a director of makerspace called Fab Lab Shibuya. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, creative in, uh, essence of using new technologies such like right here, 3D printer. And uh, first, before I start about talking my presentation, uh, I would like to ask who knows about Fab Lab? Only a few people. Good. Then I don't have to skip my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Fab Lab is a public accessible workshop or laboratory, which we call so that anybody can access and materialize their own ideas. Uh, anybody can be there. And it's not just uh, public access, but also networking is the most uh, important part of Fab Lab. Uh, not just to local users, but also to international users connecting each other. So Fab Lab will operate as a hub to connect people. So right now there's over 80 countries, 600 Fab Labs. I don't know who, who is counting right now, but uh, 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 all over the world, basically in Amer United States, in Europe. Uh, mostly, and our lab is uh, established in 2012, November, approximately three years ago. And before starting about fab, uh, the word fab, de describing uh, the word fab, I think to compare to DIY is easy to understand the word fab. Uh, DIY is something you do for yourself, by yourself. It's, uh, it's only your own purpose. Fab is something for me and for somebody, and for by me and by somebody. So it's on, it's Fab is basically of, under create, create, uh, creative create, uh, creation with collaborating with other people, and which becomes benefit to other people. So, so from the start point, the attitude of creativity is uh, more socially open-minded. So these are the basic uh, equipments we are using in daily uh, basis. Uh, these are called, including 3D printer. Uh, these are called digital fabrication tools. Where these are all operated from digital data as we have. So the reason why we are taking much account of these tools are because it's easier to collaborate with people. Like before I'm come to here, I was mailing with uh, Gabby, who the, the chief executive. Thank you for uh, <laughs> sending me here. Uh, she sent me a constant form in PDF. I printed it out, sign, signed it in, I scanned it, and sent it back. I think that's the daily office work right now. But now you can do uh, almost the same thing in various materials, in various forms, if you use digital fabrication tools. So that's the reason why we are, uh, we, I mean, Fab Labs are, are, are relying on to these digital fabrication tools. So my buddies start moving right now. So uh, this is one of our projects, what we are doing right now. It's called Mechanism Encyclopedia. We are modeling, uh, we are modeling these uh, gears and cams and those uh, mechanism and 3D pr uh, models so, uh, in, t in a team. And we are going to release these models in open source so that anybody can download it and modulate it or remix it. And you can use it by your own. And we are planning to uh, open this as a, a curriculum package to learn 3D modeling, 3D printing, and mechanism at the same time. Uh, this is the project group uh, page uh, we have, and we, our members are sharing our data to each other, so uh, I can edit other, guy, other members' data, or other guys can edit my data when, when it's uploaded. So the, when it becomes digital and when it's uploaded, uh, it's really accelerate uh, your project, your, uh, of your process. So uh, while I'm uh, operating a workshop in Fab Lab, there's so many people who come to our place and create their things. And some of, peop some of our users uh, already has their own 3D printer. And I ask them, when do you use 3D printer? And most of the people call, says, while I'm sleeping. I totally agree with that. Uh, maybe the maker doesn't like that, not like that answer, but I totally agree with that. Um, finally, human being has earned uh, fairies who will do my homework while I'm sleeping. That's a great job. 
But sometimes my fairy goes uh, too eccentric or artistic. And this was what I found out in the morning, and it really wakes me up. Uh, it was it, it was uh, printing from left to right. And when some some on some point he went eccentric, and uh, it's it's quite a rare thing. But he somehow he came up from his madness and uh, finished finishing touch from the left right side is quite good. Uh, but I was a bit frustrated when he was telling me I'm. My print is finished! Exclamation mark! Why are you happy? Like that? <laughs> uh, that was uh, well. Sometimes my buddy gets uh, affected by my laziness, but uh, still, I'm, I'm very looking. I count on those new equipments so that you can uh, materialize your idea so instantly. And now I would like to give some uh, simulation. Um, I designed, I modeled a simple button, small button, uh, in like five minutes or so. And I made a, an estimation on professional 3D printer called Object24, which our lab has. And I aligned it 500 of them, 500 buttons at the same time. And the estimation told me two hours and 56 minutes for a 500 button which means one button uh, it will take like approximately 20 seconds. And I think that's a good score, especially if you are an independent creator or a small-scale uh, manufacturer. But uh, it, the great thing is not about just the speed. What if, let's consider if you had a five variations of bu buttons, and if you want to sell them all. So here's a graph. Uh, first lot, I don't know which one will sell well and which one will be bad. So the uh, first lot will be 100 each. And you want to sell them all, but sometimes you will have a dead stock. So in this case, B, D, and E will be a dead stock, and A, C went well. So the second lot, you can control the amount of produ production. Uh, and if, you, if A and C were good, you will uh, produce more than 100. If B, D, E, e was bad, you will decrease the amount. So, and the good part is, if the size or design doesn't change much, the cost won't change, and it doesn't have, will never happen in mass production like injection molding. And I think that's one of the greatest part of 3D printing. So, benefits of 3D printing, if I outline this, uh, you can try and test a material uh, which you can't even simulate. You can give it many kind of types of simulation on, on computers, but once, if you materialize it, you can have and you can sense your touch or how it weights or how you feel when you grab it. Or, and so, your design gets more accurate. And also, you can present your idea more realistically to make your boss say yes. Sometimes your uh, one pro single prototypes more makes more benefits more than a uh, hundred piece of papers of sketches. And you can easily arrange. You can you save your original data, so you can arrange it. You can uh, multiply uh, so many different types of designs, and there are fairies. Like while I'm talking right now, and he's doing his job, so you can double up the production. So I like to talk about the background circumstances of uh, what we are, what is happening right now through these three D printings and innovations, those kind of uh, things. Uh, we call those maker movement. Maybe you've heard of it. And so there's to, from professional to amateurs. They are all they all jumped into the, these uh, movements using these three D printers or new technologies. And if I divide it into a few elements, I think it will be these three. Uh, it, they have, like these are uh, equipments used to be in large factory. Gets very small, very cheap. Some of them are open source, so anybody can create by your own. And so it's. The, it got a lot easier to access to the, these technologies. And second, if you can't create your 3D data, you can find out in, on the internet too. You can download, there's millions and millions of data and recipes online, so you, if you can just like search it like a Google, uh, you can download your model. Uh, there must be somebody creating close what you want. 
And also you have uh, like a Fab Lab, Makerspace, Hackerspace, or maybe workshop events. And like here I am, TEDx, these kind of events, but uh, easy uh, <coughs> opportunity to connect with people, each other. There's, uh, so these kind of situation arousings at almost at the same time all over the place. And, that, and that's the whole situation of maker movement right now. And if you want to create something and sell on market, uh, I think you, I think people must know that the the aim of production and consumers' demands are having a slight little gaps, because people right now people wants a little bit different from other people, not dr drastically different, but a little bit different. Uh, so, <clears throat> like used to be manufacturing large company wanted to standardize your uh, your product all over spread all over the world uh, and standardize it but right now people want something a little bit different from other people so that you, you can't fulfill their satisfaction with it's almost impossible to make them satisfy and they're almost like fans and they start commute uh, Combining, uh, constructing their communities, and also through internet, you can uh, take a glance at many various types of lifestyles right now, from including their details, so that anybody can know can know that there's oh this might fit well to me, or this might fit well. The people start to combine those essences, uh, so it's almost impossible to fulfill people with uh, those uh, mass production right now. So here's are some examples from made from Fab Lab. It's called Fab Five uh, from Fab Lab Jalalabad, um, Afghanistan. Uh, it's a mesh networking uh, and uh, Wi-Fi antennas. Uh, the the antenna itself uh, and uh, mechanics. And those schematics are all uh, open source, so anybody can download it, and you can create your own Wi-Fi antenna by yourself. It's, it's a mesh networking, so if you don't have a Wi-Fi system around your place, you download it, you, uh, you just connect from city place uh, and to other countryside by yourself. Here's uh, one of our Fab Lab, which are operating alongside with Fab Lab Shibuya. It's called Fab Lab Fujisawa. It's in the shopping center. Uh, kind of like uh, nice looking from outside, but it's a, uh, it's a, it's covered with soundproof glass so that the noise won't come out. Well, it looks good from outside, but inside it's very noisy, loud and noisy. Uh, while especially when you are CNC milling. So one of our user created uh, after I talked to him about the noise, how it noisy it is. He made a dust chamber and silencer uh, by himself. And I think the both that Fab Fi and Dust Chamber is totally different things, but I think it's a good part of uh, these things that users' uh, applications went uh, improved our em environment, uh, not just for him, not just for us, but for other users and other participants. And that's good, a good part of Fab Lab, I guess. Second one, this, this was called Toy PC. Uh, he was a, he's a user of uh, Fab Lab Shibuya. He created a laptop PC for his kids because laptop PC is still expensive to hand it over to his kid, who younger child. So he created his uh, own PC from a small circuit board called Raspberry Pi. It's very cheap. He's aiming to release this under fifty dollars. And he created, assembled with the parts with, with wood plates and 3D printed joints. Uh, he assembled from hacking the old MacBook. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it's, right now it's running like that. And he opened this recipes and data and the website called Fabul. So if you're interested, go check it out and go in, uh, please download it. Uh, you can learn how the Raspberry Pi will work. So community in digital fabrication. Uh, so I, I showed you some examples of what, what has done in Fab Labs. Uh, community in digital fabrication accelerates the colla uh, collaboration, as you guess. And, but I, 
while I'm here, I'm not aiming to talk about uh, how good about the new t these new technology is. They are great uh, tools. Their very tools are important. Technologies are important, but it's not. I think it's not the essence. It relies on the other part. They're just tools. Essence is awareness. How aware to inconvenience, problems, or benefits what you want and. Uh, these are these are helping you uh, to fulfill your awareness, and the reason why we are making great part of collaborating is because while we are here, I don't know whom, how many people are here right now, but we all have different backgrounds, different knowledge, skills, and friends. And once you talk your idea, problems to your friends or share them to, uh, to share each other, someone must know uh, your problems or essence, or maybe even you aren't aware of. And that's the greatest part uh, which accelerate your project ongoing. And we, uh, we hope uh, this time right here, right now, or for the future, uh, while I'm working in Fab Lab, I, s I want to be aware of be being sensitive and help uh, people's aware or be aware uh, of our create creation to each other. Thank you very much.